All right. I wanted to um, tell you where I got my inspiration from. I love this um, embossing folder that is in the second release of the celebration, the um, country floral dynamic tex textured embossing folder. I think it's beautiful. And I was really inspired, and I think a lot of us were inspired by this card that is in the brochure that is colored with, I'm assuming blends, in the brochure. So I looked at that and I thought, I want to do that. So I did my own take on it. So I'll show you, let's see. This is what I did with the blends. And Jill had some dazzling diamonds sitting on the table, so I put some <laughs> in the center of it. Because I don't usually use a lot of glitter, but she does, so. So it's always there. So it's always there. So that's what I came up with, and I thought, oh, that's so pretty, and such a good idea to take uh, the dynamic embossing folders and to use the blends on them to just give them that extra oomph. So I looked through our collection of embossing folders, and and I thought, what other ones could I use to with the blends to add to the card that way? Um, and I will tell you, this is not a, what is it, simple stamping on the fly type thing. This took me quite some time to color, but it is really therapeutic and fun. And I'm kind of obsessed with blends, so it works for me. So another one of the embossing folders that I pulled, it's called Tufted Embossing Folder. So this one's obviously a lot more simple. I just took the, I love the Petal Pink and Calypso Coral. Those are probably my two favorite um, blends colors, and I feel like they blend really well together also. So I didn't really blend with them on this one. I just, like I, I colored in the lines of the tufted and then I just put the dots and I thought it gave kind of a cute quilty look to the background of that. So that was fun. And then I got the layered leaves embossing folder. And this one was really neat. This one I only used the um, old olive blends on. But I think it's really cool. It shows how the light blends and the dark blends, you can use them individually and together and you get like three different colors, three different looks. So you can kind of see that on that card. Um, and I did use a little bit of the high, the, what is this called, color lifter? Yeah, the color lifter too. So that was a really fun one too. And then um, when I was getting ready to well, trying to decide what I was going to show you today. I, um, Jill was telling me about an Instagram post that Lonnie Spenlove um, posted a couple days ago, I'm assuming. And she used the blends on um, vellum, which I hadn't thought of yet. So I wanted to show you that look because I thought it was really cool. So I'm actually going to color a little bit for you, not a ton, but... Um, so I used the country floral embossing folder on the vellum, which by itself is gorgeous. You really, like, you can't go wrong with this folder. It is so pretty. Um, but I chose these colors, and I'm, again, you, you can use the blends together. It's a great way to, to use them, but you also can use them separately, and I think that's important to note, too. You, there's so many ways to use the Stampin' Blends. They, they're really versatile, and... Um, I, don't, I haven't even tapped into all the ways that you can use them, but I just, I think it's really cool when you start to color on here, you can see where the, the vellum kind of breaks. It kind of gives that extra, do you see like on the cracks here, it's a little darker. So almost like does it for you. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and vellum is really easy to use the blends on. Like it doesn't really run. Like sometimes if you blend a little bit too much, it'll kind of start to run off of your, where you're wanting it to go. But it dries really quickly on there. It's just really pretty. So this is Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. And then I used da the Light Daffodil Delight. So you can kind of see the color combination that I was going for. So the cool thing that Lonnie showed on her um, Instagram post was you can do it this way and you, it's beautiful. 
but you can also turn it on the other side and you get more of the softer look. So you kind of have two options with the vellum too, which is cool. So let me show you the cards, um, and I'm not going to lie, I literally did this like 30 minutes ago. I put these cards together, so Jill was helping me and we were putting them together. So this is the one with the, um, the softer side, and we put Bermuda Bay back behind there. And then this is the one with that, um, the full strength side. So, and you can see again, like in the cracks, it just gives it like the, a really pretty dimension to the flowers. So I thought that was really fun um, and a really fun way to use the blends. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so I, I'm glad that I was able to share with you today. Like I said, I wasn't planning on it, but I always love to be with you.